Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? Hope you all are doing well. Starting from this week's lecture. Recap of the previous week. What we have done in the previous week. In the previous week we have done all the levels of cellular organization. And from today we are going to start the cellular organization. There are five major groups of living organisms. That is prokaryotes. Protists, fungi, plants, and animals. And related to these five groups, there are two basic types of cells that is, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. We will study the difference between these two cells and their characteristics later on in this book. Now, moving towards today's topic, that is, the types of cellular organization. There are three main types of cellular organizations, unicellular, colonial, and multicellular. And today we are going to understand unicellular organization. What is unicellular organization? In unicellular organization, unicellular organisms exist and it means that their body is composed of only one cell. Uni means one single cell. And all the life activities are carried out by one cell. And examples are amoeba, paramecium, and euglena. Hope you have got today's lecture. Now moving towards your homework. Note down your lecture and highlight the important points. Read extra information given in the side box. And also learn the difference between micromolecules and ma macromolecules from the previous week's work. If you have any queries about unicellular organization, you can ask questions from me without any hesitation. Thank you and have a nice day.